Hollywood is the place to go to make your dreams come true. If you want to be an actor, an actress, a producer, a filmmaker, a director, an editor. But at what cost? I know a lot of people probably heard about the casting couch. Let's say we have a seat right in the center of the couch. I'm gonna go ahead and finish setting up the cameras. And while I do that, I'm just gonna ask you some questions about yourself. Okay. How are you? 18. Your name's Harris? Yes, it is. Five feet tall. You can just go ahead and look at me. You don't have to look at the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, just don't, don't even pay attention to the camera. And if you don't know what the casting couch is, it's a term used to explain sexual favors by a employer, a boss, a person of power who's able to give you a step up in your career or maybe even a job. The phrase came out called Me Too. This phrase was to inspire people to come out and talk about sexual harassment, sexual abuse. Well, in 2017, this phrase went viral. Hashtag Me Too. I want to talk about something actually serious. If you're on any kind of social media, I am sure you've seen the hashtag MeToo. Uh, it was started by actress uh, Alyssa Milano. She tweeted out, if all women who have been sexually harassed or assaulted wrote MeToo as a status, we might give people a sense of magnitude of the problem. So millions of people have come out posting MeToo. I applaud them all. I think it's brave and I think it's important to speak out and not by shame by anyone. It is not always easy, but we have to do that. And that's why I posted and I will say it right now out loud, me too. Followed by several sexual abuse allegations against Harvey Weinstein. A bombshell that's rocking Hollywood tonight. It was October 5th, 2017. Ashley Judd becomes the first celebrity to go public with her allegations of sexual misconduct against Harvey Weinstein. It's October 2017, Harvey Weinstein was accused of rape, sexual harassment, and sexual assault with more than 12 dozen women. Now Weinstein lost a lot from his allegations. He was fired from the producing companies, expelled from motion picture arts, suspended from British Academy Arts, and his wife even left him. It got so bad, Weinstein had to hire the British Israel private intelligent Black Cube to stop the publication of his allegations against him. In May of 2018, Harvey Weinstein was charged with rape, cruel sex acts, sex abuse, and sexual misconduct against two women. And we do have some breaking news for you. Moments ago, Harvey Weinstein, the disgraced movie mogul, turned himself in to New York City police. A source tells us that Weinstein will face charges for allegedly raping one woman and forcing another to perform a criminal sex act on him. Because of this Me Too movement, it gave people the courage to come out and talk about the sexual harassment that's gone on in the workplace, if they're raped, if they're assaulted. This was a good thing for people. To talk about what goes on behind closed doors that nobody knows about without having the fear of losing their jobs, getting blacklisted, and career suicide. But does this Me Too movement also work for child actors too? According to Corey Feldman and Elijah Wood, child pedophilia is one of the big things in Hollywood that no one is talking about. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. That's the biggest problem for children in this industry. The casting couch even applies to children. Oh yeah. In a new interview with the Sunday Times, the former child star alleges that pedophilia has been a real issue in Hollywood. Now, Elijah Wood was not a victim to any of these situations. Thanks to his mom, he was not put in a position to be in any type of situation of pedophilia, rape, anything like that. Now, Corey Feldman, that's a different story. And you don't know who Corey Feldman is, he had a big role in the movie Goonies. Yeah, but you know what? This one, this one right here. This was my dream, my wish, and it didn't come true. So I'm taking it back, I'm taking them all back. Now Corey Feldman made a life mission to expose the people in Hollywood who prey on child actors and musicians. There's a new documentary coming out at the end of 2019. He's asking for $10 million. Now this is to help film it, produce and edit it, and most importantly, for protection. To help put a legal team together to protect him why he exposes people in Hollywood. Join me and let our voices be heard. I've lived in shame and fear my entire life, and so have millions of others. And now we have the ability to let our voices be heard and break the dam of silence. I propose to do this by making a film that will be the most honest and true depiction of child abuse ever portrayed. 
by telling my own story in a very real way, in a very honest way, with no editing, no censorship, no studio behind it. I will make the film, I'll direct the film, I'll produce the film, and I will self-distribute it to guarantee that it gets a theatrical release with your donations. Justice will be served under God's name. Because this is about good and evil. At the end of the day, there is nothing more evil than people who want to take advantage of innocent children. Let's protect them together. God bless you. Now Corey says, due to molestation, that happened to him and his best friend Corey Hames, which they got into a heated conversation about in a recording of the two Corys. The depression, the drugs, and the alcohol was too much for him. It's sad to say that it led to his death. The reason I wear this, man, is like to cover up some scars I have because like I used to cut into myself because it's a way to feel, I hear. And like mentioning that, you just rip the envelope, man. I'll go you one better. You let me get around in my life, man, raped, so to speak. When I was about 14 and a half, and I'm saying this right now, by the guy you so f***ing hang out with. What'd you do, man, when you saw that going down when I was 14 to me? What'd you do? You knew about it. You want to talk about the truth? Okay, well, then let's talk about the truth. I was being molested at the same time by somebody else. What'd you do? Speaking of Corey Feldman's documentary, back in 2014, Amy Burns released a documentary called An Open Secret. There's a new documentary that is all about the dark side of Hollywood and how some power players allegedly use their positions to prey on young, aspiring actors. And this documentary exposed and exploited child molestation that goes on in Hollywood. Now after two hours of trying to find this documentary, I looked on YouTube, I looked on Hulu, I looked on Netflix, I looked on Amazon, I even looked on Google Movies. I even went to an Apex app to look at movies to see if it was on there. I found an app called Vimo. I think that's what it's called. It's a platform where you upload video. It's like YouTube. But that's the only place I was able to find it. Now this documentary talked about exploiting child sexual abuse in the entertainment system in California. I think every little kid dreams about being famous and being in movies. This is California. This is where you make it. This is where it all starts. You'll get signed by a label. You can star on Disney Channel. You know, what kid wouldn't want that, right? Now in the rest of this video, I'm going to talk about some of the cases that were inside this documentary and some of the cases that I found, like Brian Peck. Now, Brian Peck is a well-known actor in Hollywood, starting with 46 roles, starting with The Last American Virgin and ending with Freaks of Nature. Well, in 2004, Brian Peck was convicted of lewd acts against a child and oral compilation of a child under the age of 16. Now, the documents state he was charged with 11 counts. Lewd acts upon a child, sodomy of a person under the age of 16, attempted sodomy of a person under the age of 16, sexual penetration of a foreign object, Four counts of oral copulation of a person under the age of 16, oral copulation by anesthesia and controlled substances, and using a minor in sex acts. Peck was convicted in 2004 to only serve 16 months in jail. That's it. Now, as soon as Peck got out of jail, he was back in acting. And not only in adult TV shows and adult movies, he was acting in child TV shows and child movies. He had a role in Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. He also had a role in Yay Me, starring London Tipton. And as of last week, I found out he had a role in Jack and the Beanstalk, a child movie. And I was watching a clip of him back when he started all that. Now, supposedly, this is when the sexual assault was going on. Brian Peck moved to Nickelodeon and coached on almost all their shows, really. It was one of those shows where he befriended a, a pretty major child actor. That child was abused by Brian Peck. Um, he came forward and filed criminal charges against Brian Peck, and um, Brian Peck almost immediately pled guilty. Now watch this clip and tell me if it doesn't seem creepy about what's going on. Like it was making it into some type of joke or something. Pickle boy. He hates pickles. Pickle boy. His pickles taste bad. Pickle boy likes to hurt and tease pickles. Pickle boy. The best pickle boy in the world. Now he is banned from direct contact with children, so he's able to star in child movies and TV shows again, as long as he's not in direct contact with them. 
that's the worst part of it all, is that he's still working on kids' shows and he's still here and he's been convicted. It's not somebody that we have rumors about or that we've had complaints about. There's actual convictions and he's still here. Marty Reese. Now this is one of the main topics in the documentary An Open Secret. Listen to this recording that one of his victims recorded of him so he'll get people to believe what's actually really going on. Because I remember you asking me if I ever did anything with a guy before. Yeah, a long time ago. And then that's when you asked if I wanted to try it. You're not recording this, right? No, I'm not. Thank you. Do it this way, Adam. I never would have done anything with you if you had expressed interest. That situation that happened at Penn State, mm -hmm. those kids didn't want it. But I didn't at 12. Marty was a talent agent that was landing roles for TV shows such as iCarly and a Disney show, Good Luck Charlie. In 2011, Marty was arrested for allegations of child molestation. He was charged and only served six months in prison and had to register as a sex offender. Now, during the investigation of Marty, another client of his, or should I say an ex-client, came out and spoke about what happened between them. He said he had a physical and sexual relationship with Marty more than 40 times in a time span of three years. These kids trusted him and he preyed on their innocence. He used their trust against them. He told them this is what people do in the entertainment industry. I was told that this is everyday business and he made me feel like I have to do that in order to get any job. He was just saying uh, this was common in the industry. Now he admitted to everything he did to the boys, but he said it wasn't rape. He said all of it was consensual. That is cool. Yeah, right. Thanks, Marty. Now this led me to Victor Silva, one of the worst cases of them all. You might know him from the Jeepers Creepers franchise. I thought the Jeepers Creepers franchise was amazing. I thought the movies were great. I thought. The acting was awesome, the storyline was great, until I found out about child sexual abuse and child pornography. Now when you watch the movies again, it's a whole different storyline. It becomes more creepy. The fuck? Is it looking at me? In 1988, Victor Salva was directing a film called Clown House. Spoilers on the film, this movie is about a boy who's afraid of clowns. And one night, he sneaks out with his brothers to go face his fear of clowns. Only dreams. Dreams. The worst nightmares are for real. Now during the film, there was some stuff going on on set behind closed doors with Nathan Winters one of the child actors and main roles of the film. Nathan went to his mom and told him what was going on, how he was being sexually abused on set. Videotape all of it. I mean, it was it was full blown. Some of the cast and crew came to my mom and said, you know, Nathan and Victor's interaction on set is not okay. She went to the authorities and they found enough evidence to charge Victor to plead guilty. Victor was filming what was going on between him and Nathan and other boys. He had his own child pornography collection. He pleaded guilty and was charged with lewd sexual contact with a child under the age of 14, having oral sex with a child under the age of 14, and producing child pornography. He was charged and only served 15 months he was out and directing more films. The thing about child stars is they get into this business, they get all this money, and they feel pressured. Some of their parents might quit their job and become the child's manager or something and the child ends up paying for everything. They end up supporting the family. So with all this going on, they're thinking, well, I can't say nothing. I'm gonna get fired, I'm gonna lose my job. They're afraid that they're gonna commit career suicide. I'm bringing this to attention to give awareness of what goes on in the world. Now, this might not just happen to actors. This can happen anywhere. It's just not Hollywood. This can happen in any type of business or it just be happening down the road. Pay attention to your children. Pay attention to your friends and family. You don't know what they're going through. Thank you for watching and remember, hashtag me too.